Even before I became an athletic trainer in 1980, I always had a great affinity uh, for the Olympics and was uh, you know, just watchful of the Olympic Games uh, through the 60s and the 70s as a kid. And then when I became a certified athletic trainer in 1980, one of my goals was to be a part of the United States Olympic Committee's volunteer medical pool. And so I applied for that, uh, got accepted. I spent two weeks at Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center in 1983. And uh, that, that was my entry into the Olympic process. Being a part of the United States Olympic Committee Volunteer Medical Program really gave me uh, an opportunity to learn from other providers around the United States. And then as I was fortunate enough to be assigned to Olympic teams, you get to experience how the rest of the world manages healthcare. And in Atlanta in 96, you know, I was fully immersed. I was, I was the manager of athlete care for the entire games, uh, 10,500 athletes, uh, some uh, 92 countries. And working with other providers, other athletic trainers, therapists, physicians uh, from around the United States, States and around the world has really been an extraordinary learning experience. Our time in, in Rio this past Olympics was uh, just extraordinary from the fact of what our initial scope of service was, of being able to go in and put together a package of recovery services for the athletes. We had a total of 12 uh, team members from St. Vincent Sports Performance who were, who were in Rio uh, during the games. And uh, during that time, uh, we had some 700 plus visits into the uh, recovery center. For us to be a part of that and to provide uh, a new sort of suite of services was really very beneficial uh, for the athletes and very rewarding for us. We had an impact, direct impact on 101 athletes of the United States Olympic team, of which there are 555. And so almost 20% of the team had come through St. Vincent Sports Performance in the previous 12 months. So to be able to uh, take that same provider base of strength and conditioning coaches, of athletic trainers, physical therapists, and go into the uh, actual city of the games and be able to uh, work elbow to elbow in Rio de Janeiro with the same people that we walk the streets and, and uh, our buildings here in Indianapolis with was very, very rewarding. What I've come to realize is that athletes are human beings whether you're from China, or whether you're from South Africa, or whether you're from Indianapolis, Indiana, there's, there's a commonality. And the human body is the human body. What you learn from other cultures is that there are other ways to provide health care. And I believe that it's the athletes who, who cause us to rise to that high level because of their expectations of us. Uh, if we're gonna be in that arena, we have to be really good at it. To me, the Olympic spirit is the fact that we as a, uh, a world can uh, use sport as a common platform to communicate, um, to uh, understand each other, uh, to smile with each other, uh, to compete and build a relationship. And so I believe in all of those things. I also believe that the Olympics um, holds all of us accountable to be our very best.